interesting. Are you guys tired of all the anonymous group messages that come from Instagram from random bots or maybe actual people that are scammers? Well, I am too. <laughs> I'm just coming every day. Today, I'm going to show you guys how I got back at a scammer that hit me up on Instagram anonymously by just some random person asking for money and I got him back. But before we get into the video, make sure you subscribe, like the video down below and comment down which part is the best part of this video once you're done the video. Without further ado, people, let's get into it. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Amade, back with another one, you feel me? And today, I'm going to show you guys how I scammed a scammer on Instagram. Now, for background knowledge, you guys should already know uh, there's been a huge wave ever since whenever of uh, just anonymous bots or actual people going into your Instagram and just typing up a random group chat filled with all these random people that are just gathered and they spit whatever they're trying to spit into the group chat. It could be pornography, it could be a scammer, it could be go check out my new hottest single. I don't I don't know what you guys get. But it's a wide variety of bullshit, pretty much. Now the type of scammers that I usually get, or for some reason, I don't know why I feel like it, I swear it has a, like a some type of filter. But the ones that I get are sugar mamas, sugar mamas, I mean. So, so if you have like, let's say it's usually for girls. If you have a sugar daddy, he's gonna give you a whole ton of money for those nasty behind feet pics, them little nasty dragon claws I got under them shoes. I got this DM from sugar mama underscore Sandra 11. And it's a profile picture of a woman with huge tits. <laughs> now off the rip, when I didn't, whenever I see sugar mama, I already know it's some type of scam. I already know. So ahead of time, I already took my time. This was just when I was bored, by the way. I already took the time to say, you know what? I'm going to play with this person. So when I first saw this message, she said, hi. Just, just straight up high. It was high. And I'm like, off the rip. I already know what type she is. Or it's probably some fat dude behind the, behind the scenes. But I say, hey, baby. With a winky face. You got to add in the winky face. She goes, how are you doing? I go, great. How about you? She goes, good. You know, just starting off a regular conversation before she gets into this horniness. Off the rip. After she said good, I said, can you send me a picture of yourself? Her whole profile is based off of Sugar Mama, so I already know what she's trying to get into. So I guess I'm all right. So they send me this picture of, once again, older white woman, quadruple size D titties. I, I, don't, I don't know why or where they found these pictures, but it's obviously not that person. She says, have you ever mingled? Mind you, every time someone tries to scam you on Instagram, they can never speak English or like their English is always terrible. Have you ever mingled with sugar mummy before? And I'm like, no, this is my first time cry face. Cause you know, I'm, I'm a smooth killer, you feel me? I'm just so innocent. And at this time she says, kindly check my story and send your cash app. So off rip, it's kind of weird, right? Cause sugar mamas and sugar dads both need something in return. I give you money, you get this. This is what her story says. I'm looking for babies to spoil, send your cash app and I will send $3,000. And then the amount gets more ridiculous and more ridiculous as time goes on. I swear, when I first saw these back when I was like 15, 14, there were only a couple hundred dollars, now it's 3,000. So I sent her my shoe cash app, the uh, the cash app that I have associated with my sneaker reselling page. <clears throat> Drip that the E if y'all wanna go check it out, cop y'all some heat. <laughs> I actually don't have any heat right now, I sold them all. But listen, we will be coming back in the summer. But anyways, go follow that plan, that chip, that a page. So I send her my cash up and she says, are you ready to get spoiled heart? I'm like, yes, please. Cause I need it bad. <laughs> then she, then you can kind of tell that this foreigner or whoever they are, unless they're just weird, they are trying to adopt, you know, like the United States English kind of language. And she adds in like, like a, some kind of high school girl, like, like how old are you? I'm like, 21. I say that I'm 20, but I don't want to get up, give out any too, like too much information about my, um, myself, I guess. She says, cool. I'm on your payment right away. Bruh. So this is where you fucked up scammers. Okay. Sugar mamas receive something first before they go out and pay some random stranger. That's your first mistake and probably your gravest mistake yet. Cause what the f are you sending me money for? Sugar mama, you you get something in return. Do you want you want the bill? Do you want some feet pics? I got some, I got some nice feet. <laughs> no, she just straights up. She just wants to send me money. She shows me. She's like, is this you? 
This time using my actual cash up because I fucked up the first time for some reason. I forgot my cash tag. And she goes, okay, she he's probably some, um, it's definitely a dude behind the thing. I don't know why. That's me. Are you sure? She's trying to act like she's sending me money by screenshotting my cash tag and adding a dollar amount above it. And their debit card, last four digits of their debit card, or at least the last four digits of somebody else's debit card that they probably scammed in that screenshot. So boom. She goes, is that you? I'm like, yeah. Okay, baby. I don't know what to say at this point, so I just send her two hard out emojis. I promise you, you won't block me after you receive your payment. I won't love. Okay. This payment, then she sends this. This is what pisses me off. This payment may be related to scam. She asked me, can I trust you? This is where they try to get you right here. I'm like, yeah, I don't know why. I don't know why it doesn't say or why it says that though. So then she kind of takes the conversation and flips it into I'm the scammer type of script. Now, all of a sudden, I'm the one that has to get enough trust for her to send me money, which would make sense in a real world problem if it were to be an actual sugar mama. And I tell her this. She says, she said, trust me, baby. I love to be sincere about my words as I don't hi have any hiding agendas because I hate to make people feel bad. I really do believe that everyone should at least be given a great chance to smile. And it's such a beautiful paragraph. So good, but it's so unrelated to what sugar mamas do. Cause I would be sending deal. Like if that was, you feel me? <laughs> That's such like a inspiring and positive view of things. And then you, here, a big old woman selling tits on Instagram. I respond, that's nice of you, but why is the script being flipped here? So why am I the one that's not being trusted and even know that you're obviously the sus person here? You literally have no pictures of yourself on your page, no advertisement. You just say, I want to spoil people. Okay, sure. And then this is where you can tell it's just dead because they have a certain script that they have to follow. And once it's outside their script, they don't give a fuck. So I ask her a question. That's nice of you, but why is the script, why is the script being flipped here? Most normal people, if it wasn't a scam, would answer your question. She says, congratulations, your payment is being sent. What did that have to do? Where did the trust just go? <laughs> like, where did you, where did you just build up the courage to just send it and just say F it? Like, what the hell did you just do? I prayed you use the money wisely once you got it. Four hearts, three hearts. Now, obviously, if it was a real situation, I'd be going on my cash app and I would see that this would say $3,000 so I could deposit into my account. That's how I know it real. If it was real, this is why I also took the chance, just in case if it was a real sugar mama, by the way, I will take these chances for, regardless, I will send those feet pictures, sis. But obviously, it's not there. So I respond and I play along. Okay, let me know when you send it, because I obviously it's not going to hit my bank account, but I'm just going to see what type of moves they try to pull on people to see how they try to confirm that the $3,000 has been sent. So she sends me a screenshot saying that your $3,000 payment is ready to send. I don't think on Cash App, after you send money, it says ready to send. So this is obviously a uh, made whatever it is. It has the Cash App check and probably the Cash App font and just typed in whatever. And then also where they also fucked up at, the message was sent at 7.22 p.m. while I was at work. The screenshot of this picture is at 12.35 p.m. And on the top left, it says stay safe. I don't know what type of provider stay safe is, but that, I'm pretty sure that's not real. This is not a real screenshot. But a lot of other people that aren't familiar with Instagram or phones or how Cash App works with- Oh my God. Oh my God. They just sent me $2,000. I'm about to go spend it like my stimmy. And she sends it. She sends that screenshot and then says, baby, I'm happy for you and the payment is ready to send right now. And I need you to send $50 to authorize it. Baby, don't be scared. Your money will be will be deposited into your account once you send the $50. You created a Photoshop image of Cash App, giving me your Cash App, created an Instagram account, got fake pictures off of Google, wherever you found, I just hit my mic, did all these extra steps to make sure that you didn't look like a scammer, even though it was pretty easy to figure out that you were a scammer, all for $50. You could have did all that work at like a gas station and made twice as much as what $50 is now. Mind you, they do be, they be, they be hacking a lot of people not gonna hold you, they be getting to a bag. But listen, for $50, bro, that's not even a tank of gas for some people. That's what pissed me off. It's like, oh my God, you didn't even ask for 100. You didn't ask for 300. You just asked for 100 or 50 dots. But here's what doesn't also make sense. Why is it that you would need $50 after sending 3,000? 
What sense does that make? Most people, there's a lot of people out there that don't connect the dots like I do because I'm a fucking scientist low key. And here's where the trolling comes. This is where the fun begins. But like I said, sugar mamas need something in return, usually pornography. So I sent her a big ass purple pickle. You need to send the $50. Okay, hard eyes. But first, I'm going to tease you with something first. And she says, what's that? So what I did basically was I did not take my own nudes. Of course not. I went on Google, just typed in purple pickle and boom. <laughs> so purple pickle sent and I say, how you like? Then she says, I'm not here for nude pictures or sexual activities. Okay, heart. So sweet. It's okay. Once you are ready for payment, let me know. And I'm trying to drag this out here. I'm like, yo, baby, you need something in return, girl. So I'm like, okay, well, can you send me more pictures first? Because I'm hornier than a middle school on birth control. And I sent her like 80,000. <laughs> I don't want the mummy, baby. I just want you. Uh, uh. And she goes, okay, bye. <laughs> and I'm like, but baby. Then she goes, because I'm here to spoil my baby. I get smart back, but she probably wouldn't notice. Okay, well, spoiled me, please. Cause I really want the money, okay? I want $3,000. Once you paid the $50, then you can receive your $3,000 payment instantly. That's not how Cash App works, bruh. I play along. Okay, well, how do I pay the $50? And she says, you pay it here. Your pay it here. Couple hours go by, cause mind you, I am at work while trolling her. She says, you there? Cause she's just waiting for this $50. Couple minutes later, I'm like, okay, love. I'll send the $1,000, is that okay? And then she goes, what do you mean? Do you think here I'm here to play games or jokes? Like what? What do you mean? Do you think I'm here to play jokes or games? Bitch, go get a job. Talk about jokes, I should really smack the fuck whoever's behind this. I play along. No, I just feel bad because you sent me $3,000. And I keep playing along. She's pretty much done with me at this point. She so had it through. She just wanted $50, but she had ended up with some type of random YouTuber that's just trying to troll her out of $50. So I go, is this you, babe? I got to give some type of proof that I'm about to send the money so she could keep on texting me back. Is this you, babe? So I go on Cash App. I do the exact same thing that she does to me. I put in $1,000. I don't send it, but I screenshot her name and it says... Sustainer 150 payment here. So she's, it looks like she's literally running a scam business. Once again, this is at 12 o'clock. This is after work, after I've eaten, after I streamed, all that. She goes, yes. I'm like, okay, I got you. And she's like, is this for real? It's like, nigga, did you not scam before? Is this like your first time? Are you so excited to get this $50, you know? So I continue with the trolling. And I say the same thing that she does back to me earlier. And I say, yes, but only if you promise not to block me. And she goes, are you kidding me? with the boy emoji. So it's like, this is definitely a dude behind this. <laughs> like, and I go, okay, I will send your payment in the morning. Good night with two little pink hearts. Hits me on Saturday. You there? I don't respond because I'm not with it. I'm not here for your bullshit, bro. And it's been a while since I actually texted that person back. However, we can make this happen. So what we were gonna do is we we're gonna Photoshop a screenshot of us sending the $50. She's gonna check and she's gonna be pissed off. She's gonna be pissed off. So we're gonna do it and we're gonna make that a part two. So make sure that you like this video. Comment down below what your favorite part is. Have you guys gotten these nasty ass, random ass group messages talking about some, don't click on my link if you wanna see some big butt. Don't do it. Like, come on, bro. I like if this has ever happened to you, please stay safe and away from scammers no matter what it is, no matter how good it looks, do not send your payment information over Instagram, Snapchat, nothing. Don't do it. But without further ado, y'all, it's been cool, it's been real, it's been trills, your boy Marty, and we out of here. I'm gonna go edit. Thank you for helping. Thank you for supporting me, even though these videos only come out every once in a while. I'm trying to get it at least two a week now. It's like, there's so much going on in my head, bruh. But, bug it. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you subscribe. Like the video, do all that cool stuff. <sighs> boys out. Now, knowing how 2020 is in 2021, the 2020 areas are... Mm. What were you doing?
I know I had 